Okay, everybody, welcome back to Learn with Minecraft Education. Today, we're going to be looking at the feature wishlist button, which you'll find on the home screen when you log in. Now, make sure you stick around to the end of the video today because we are going to be looking at some of the suggestions from people just like yourselves of how to improve the game. And um, some of them are pretty interesting. Alright guys, so let's go ahead and uh, start here on the home screen. Now normally our options here, we've explored quite a lot, even the little coat hanger here, but maybe, maybe like me, you haven't noticed uh, this little button in the bottom left here, the mysterious little button, and if we click that it takes us to our feature wish list. So um, I'm going to uh, have a quick look through this. All right, so as an example, let's look at ones that have been completed. So, so this will be ones that people have suggested, that the people that make Minecraft Education have looked at and decided that, yes, that is something we need to implement. So make Minecraft Education available on Chromebooks and Chrome operating systems. So we are seeking feedback and interest on making Minecraft Education available on other platforms. Uh, and this was something that um, did happen, okay? so. Um, it wasn't something I experienced until we got to um, teaching online, which I've been doing a lot of recently. And we had some students that had Chromebooks, um, so that was very useful. So thank you to people for implementing that. Okay, guys, one of the things I wanted to mention quickly was our Facebook page. You'll find the link in the description. We've got nearly a thousand members on there now, and many of them are Minecraft educators, experts on the subject. So if you've got any questions, just throw them in there and you will get a, an answer very quickly. Um, so make sure you go ahead and check it out. Next, add an option to remember me. Yes. Yes. I think we've been there where students are signing in and they just keep putting in their password and username wrong and they have to do it every single time and it's so much more useful if the computer can remember who they are and just log them straight in. A single sign-in option was added to our back to school release last fall, autumn. Uh, can you turn on single sign-on? Uh, you can, so you can turn on single sign-on for the app by opening settings from the home screen clicking on the profile button and then toggling enable single sign-on in the on position. I had no idea that that was an option, to be honest with you, until just now. Um, so yeah, that's a super useful one. Okay, everyone, one thing I wanted to try out today, a new feature, we're gonna have question corner. So we start to get a lot of comments now in these videos and I'd like to answer some of them, give people a little shout out. So this one's to Mohammed, who asked, hi, can you do a gun add-on for Minecraft education? Uh, sorry, Mohammed, but the answer is no. Uh, although if you want to uh, find things like that, just go to um, mcpedl.com and you will find stuff like that on there. Um, I don't want to necessarily associate an educational channel uh, with weapons, but um, if you want to look for those, go ahead, you'll find lots of them on there, all right? Um, a way to, a way for students and teachers to kick a player out of a game. Yeah, we've all been there. Uh, this person has experienced many times. I've seen students from other classes jump into a multiplayer lesson um, so, you know, you have, you split students up into groups of three or four, you ask them to join each other's world, someone joins the wrong world, and you just simply want to kick them out uh, so that they can join the other one. Um, and that has now been added, so uh, if you are hosting a world, you can do that. I teleported them to a boundary block jail. That is genius. That's a really good idea. So you're just pressing forward slash TP coordinates of a little area that's surrounded by boundary blocks. This is Minecraft education for non-teachers, homeschooling, uh, PTA camps and so on. So at the moment, it's, it's very difficult unless you have an Office 365 um, education account. Um, it is not possible to get Minecraft education edition. But there, of course, are lots of people that are homeschooled who would find it super useful to have something like that. Um, I'm going to qualify. Allow the agent to use a lever. That'd be cool. Um, I'd just use a pressure plate in that situation, but that's a good idea. Here's the big one for me, um, import a structure. It's really annoying um, in Minecraft education when you can't just quickly import a structure that you've made into a world when you're creating a lesson. Um, so please add the import option for a structure 
I've been spending days on building our school in Minecraft to test some things. Um, only to find I couldn't import it later into a different world I actually needed it in. I tried to make code, but I could only copy it in the same world. Yeah. So when you've built something, you can um, forward slash clone and fill. And that's useful, but it doesn't save it when you go to another world. You know, we're, we're at the stage where there are people that work for Minecraft Education making lessons, making worlds for the students, but they're making them in Java and then moving them across. And uh, actually, you know, we need the same uh, facilities in Minecraft Education. Okay, this is the big one that people seem to want. Uh, so a dedicated server for Minecraft Education Edition. Let's click on that. So as you can see, I've got a lot of votes on this. Uh, could we please have an option to create a dedicated server with classroom controls? I have different classes that use the same world, and I would, it would simplify things for the students and the teacher if the world was always up. Um, there is a limit of 30 as well. This guy's got lots of students, and he wants to build massive projects with 100-plus students. Yeah, I mean, I get that. It would be really useful to, uh, to have a world that was always there so that students can go on it without someone else having to host it. Um, it would be good if you could have more than 30 people in it. And let's see uh, what the community team have written. Thanks for posting. There are some technical hurdles to get over on this one, but we are definitely exploring possibilities. Let's finish up by saying that um, you need to go onto the Minecraft Education website and you need to use this feature wishlist button if you want to get the things um, in Minecraft Education that you want. Now, you need to sign in, but once you've done that, you can vote. Okay, so vote on anything that you like. Um, any features that you think we don't need, downvote them if you like, or leave a comment. Uh, but this is really is for uh, teachers to get involved with. Okay, so go through and vote for something if you want it to happen. You can make it happen. Many things will just happen automatically. So stuff that's included in Bedrock um, certainly will be making its way over to Minecraft Education Edition uh, in time. Um, so uh, it's just a matter of how long it takes and the way it is implemented. Now, if you found today's video useful or interesting, please do like and subscribe to the channel. I'm going to be coming back with a few videos for you later in the week. But until then, have a good one.